Hello all and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We are back to our usual usual ways of stabby stabby, killy killy, sneaky sneaky. So here we are. We are going to find Finner and see what we can do next. We're gonna probably next few episodes will be us exploring the next region. Yeah, I don't care. Let's see what Queen have to say. Will you not stay a moment longer, Eivor? I should not linger. My banner folk await my return. I understand. Take care, Valdis. You fought well and won yourself a worthy king. I did, didn't I? Take care, Eivor. It shall wear an Utland. Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together. Together. I'll gather my things. You on the boat? Okay. That's that. Let's go back home. Maybe in the future we're gonna come back here. And see what we can do there. But right now we are fast traveling home. <laughs> that was a fun a little activity. Nice. The Wolfka. So glad to see you. Uh, the nice wolf. Roland, Volker. Why all this shouting? Looks like. Let's see a message. Do you not know fine millinery when you see it, Rowan? I could trade that hat for two of your horses. Silence, both of you! Randvi, I demand that this matter be settled here and now. Have patience, Rowan. There is a time and a place for such disputes. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Polgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Rot disappointed word! Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. 
I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Ah. As you are aware, Polgir and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing! Polgir, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing... My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgir stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush, slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Okay. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor. You have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis' walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed. Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer, to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alcafer's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Oof. Olga, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by tears blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in so <laughs> Okay, let's do another skill up. Yeah, so, we want that uh, dodge roll. Counter roll. Master counter roll. Yeah, that, that looks cool. Okay, let's... What did it say? It becomes increasingly difficult to look across the Alliance table at the 
ever and not think of what could be. I tell myself it is only Sigurd's absence, but the light grows thinner, Victor, by the day. Okay, I need to be careful with that. Oh, that's the king and queen quarters. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite the character. I almost <laughs> envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and <laughs> live with such petty concerns. He hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Nice. Another these hours. Some interesting news. King Chilvulva sent Chilbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Will do. Something is happening near Volker's hut. Perhaps I should take a look. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. We'll need some more. Uh, do we have? How much do we have anyway? Let's go out and see. Yeah, we still miss a lot of uh, okay. Let's do that first, distorted dreams. And then we're gonna build the house. Don't need... Yeah, 60. Yeah, that's our next goal, we're gonna be building that. I can hardly believe it's you! The one fated to save my people. That woman seems to know me. Oh, it's you! Who the hell are you? Valka said we would meet, but I can hardly believe the great Eivor is fated to save my little Isle of Sky. Who are you? A hat of yourself, as always, Edith. Eivor, Edith is an old friend and a seer. She contacted me for advice. Her people are plagued by nightmares to the point of madness. I wasn't aware people settled on the Isle of Sky. There are small settlements, but it is a place of passage for many, making it perfect for dreams to wreak havoc. Until now, I've mostly been deciphering if my cousin's feasting on feathers in her dreams means she should marry a farmer or a baker. <laughs> you lost me again. <laughs> it needs your help, and it's not just her people being affected. As someone deeply in tune with the spirit realm, I have also begun to lose sleep. I fear it may spread to our settlement soon. I will investigate. But it is not as if I have experience chasing away bad dreams. There is more. You're not going to like this, Eivor. But I believe somehow Ranby is involved. Perhaps oh? even responsible. <laughs> Valka, you've gone really mad this time. Ranvi would never do something like this, nor could she. She's always here. Ever since the nightmare started here, I began asking the spirits for clarity. And the vision oh. came to me. Though it was cloudy, I know what I saw. You will find Ranvi 
amidst a scene of death on the Isle of Sky. The two of you will fight before you are forced to part ways forever. That just can't be true. Believing is your choice. The only way to find the truth and stop the nightmares from spreading is if you go to the Isle of Sky. I must okay. tell you my duties, but Edith can take you when you are ready. Okay, let's go. So, are you ready? My people can't go without sleep any longer. I'll find out what's plaguing your people. Whatever or whomever it may be. Okay. So where the hell are we now? Isle of Sky. Where the hell is that? What is this all about? Here we are, the Isle of Sky. Beautiful, isn't it? Any idea where I should go first? Investigate Kilter Agland first. It's where complaints of nightmares began. My hut is there too, if you need to find me. Okay. Hmm, so that's a special map essentially. Alright. Well, let's see what we can find. Could be interesting. Soon in, guide me. And probably will be interesting. But let's start simple. Just searching for this, then we're gonna go to that. Yeah. Easy enough. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Interesting island, probably, maybe. Yeah, I don't think I will find Radvi here. Like ninety nine percent sure. Now 
What is this level up anyway? Uh, power 55, okay. Old man store. Okay. Let's climb up. Up we go. Okay, let's see what we can find here. Okay, let's go down there and see. Let's see what we can find in this town. Interesting. Mm, there should be a nice artifact close by, probably a tattoo or something. As always. Mm, some gold down here. There it is. Ah, supplies. Nice, but yeah, not needed really. <laughs> it's a dog. Okay. Let's try to find that gold anyway. Want to do that? Stop.
No, of course it's locked. And it's that key. So how the hell do we get this? I think I need a horse. And the horse needs to get there. How do you get this? If I hit that. I don't know, not sure. We're gonna come back later for that. Okay. Is everything all right? You seem find the warrior woman with the braid. She is our undoing, stealing our dreams. A warrior with a braid. That can't be Randvi. Where is she? At a church northwest of town. That's all I saw in my dreams. Find her and Please, let me speak. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.